We going to Florida, Tampa, Sarasota, closesales.com, business retreat. Way too hyped for this. I've been traveling a lot. I've been traveling a lot. I'm hyped for this one. About to get picked up. The man, the myth, the legend, Austin Medlin. I think he's picking me up in the, uh, I don't want to say, but I think it's about to be the orange McClare. It's going to be my first time sitting in McLaren. I'm lit. I'm hyped about it. going to be a great trip. This vlog is going to be completely bananas. Let's go. All right, give us the tour. We in the Medlin mansion right now, baby. Where the magic happens, where generational wealth is created. <laughs> there we go. So, Let's go. Full bath down here that you guys can use. Um, yeah, you good. Yeah, yep, just in case. So, I'll bleep that out for YouTube. <laughs> kitchen, living room, dining room. We got so many friends. Fuck yes. I mean, we got we got Adam Bennell in the building. Yeah, <laughs> we got Adam Bennell in the building. Just a fitness coach casually crushing fifty kilos. No <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> don't don't mind him. Oh shit, this is sick. Um, so another full bath, and then guest room, and then you guys have all your towels and everything you need up here. So that's what you guys need. And then uh, over here we got king or queen's chair, depends on who's sitting in it. This was a bedroom. I didn't need another fourth bedroom because it's just me, so I cut this wall out. And then this is where I put all the Polaroids when my clients come to visit. So you guys will be on the wall by the end of the weekend. Hell yeah, we love that. So it's all the clients that have come visit. Lee's already up there, what do you know? Come on, you already know. Good that. Bad. This Good man bad. changed my life. <laughs> you know that's right. Yeah, I went with sauna, dartboard, mini fridge, TV, just made it a little kind of game room. We've had a little remodel since I was here last, actually. Yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. Really exciting this stuff. Is really beautiful. Yeah. Turn this into like a movie theater-ish kind of area. This wasn't here last time when I was here, and he wasn't here either. Hello. I'm running my comforter right now, but this is the master. Can you, wait, can you do me a favor? Can you say the line one more time Holy that you did on, on the house tour? Oh, on the house tour, I said, uh, normally when people show their room, they say this is where the magic happens, but the magic in here lasts three minutes. <laughs> the, magic, the magic in my office creates generational <laughs> My other favorite part of the uh, little home protection, <laughs> love, you know, and then master bathroom, water fountain for the cat. There you go, sweetheart. And then I got the closet. <laughs> what balling? Yeah, we got piffs and pars, dude. Piffs and pars, right, love <laughs> for the golfers. So let's go. Sick. So we got it. Dude, it's sick. Let's go. I love what we got. We in the backyard. Um, he did the hot tub. Oh, can't forget the hot tub. But uh, Austin did the almost complete house tour, but I said, you, you forgot one more crucial part. Uh, yeah. One more crucial part. We got to head into the garage. Hello. Not rented. My golf cart. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get past this stupid orange car for a second. Get to the real pimp mobile. Yeah, this is, this is my street legal golf cart. Love. Yeah, it comes with an umbrella, a sunshade, some hand sanitizer. Really cool. What's yeah. this like? I don't know what kind of car this stupid, ugly orange one is. What, what, what's have this? Ever, have you ever heard of Turo? <laughs> <laughs> so you can rent these cars. Yeah, right. So I did a three year rental on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is that inter that magical internet money, huh? Yeah. Your dad cool. bought you this car, right? Daddy's money. Daddy's money. Daddy's That's a daddy's money car yeah. right there. Daddy's money. <laughs> okay, real shit as we yeah. exit this hot box. Yeah. What, what, uh, I know you didn't actually rent this car. Of course what, not. What, what did it take to get, get to a point where you could buy a car like that? Well, my entire life, I believed that I could. And as cliche as that sounds, like I never looked at cars like that. And I was like, oh, I could never buy that. I always looked at those cars. And I was like, yeah, I'll own one of those one day. I had 100% belief that I could do it. And then I aligned my actions with that belief. And then obviously it unfolded and manifested as it should. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning, Florida. We're here featuring two of the top Yo. fitness coaches in America. We have Bobby O'Brien and Adrian Leong. Very excited to be here. We stayed up all night talking about the bigger things in life. And now we're going on a walk. I woke up this morning. Adrian Leong looks at me and says, good morning, bro. We're going to wake up and do appointment setting right away. Let's go. And I'm like, hello, let's do it. And walk too. Yeah. We'll so two birds. exactly. So uh, I'm, we're killing three birds because I'm getting a little Lizzie's Life vlog. We're going to get coffee. That's two birds. Appointment set, three birds. Walking four birds. Let's fucking go. Good morning. 
Look where we Good at. Good morning, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this place, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wouldn't mind waking up to this every day. Boy, oh, boy. Bless, brother. Super. Bless, this is the uh, one of the number one fitness coaches in America for men, Bobby O'Brien. Bro, this is by far the best fucking artist I've ever fucking heard. And the best fucking producer ever that <laughs> teaches people how to make their own music. Oh. Fucking bees. I paid him to say that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Man, so we out here in Siesta Key, CloseSales.com retreat. Shout out to the boy, the man with the magical mustache, Austin Medlin. And uh, man, oh boy. we're about to go do something crazy today. Let's go. It's about to be a hell of a day. Jet ski in Paris, let's go, baby. Let's go. My favorite activity. Let's go. My favorite fucking activity. Yeah. So. Yeah. That guy's my sales coach, and that, guy, <laughs> and that guy does drone shooting. So he's bringing his drones with an S at the end. And um, we're gonna be yet skiing today. <laughs> it's my favorite activity, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> you hear that? It's the sound of success. We out here jet skiing in Siesta Key, what? Come on, boy. This is literally, jet skiing is like one of my favorite things to do. Obviously, I don't do it a lot, because I'm from California, but I fucking love jet skiing. As I'm scaling my music career, I really realized how much of becoming successful is really all up here. I, I almost hate saying that in a way because I heard that when I was younger and I wasn't making it and I was super frustrated every time. I heard someone saying shit like that because I was like, dude, it sounds like bullshit. Like, just give me some strategies to grow my fan base or whatever it was and like, it's like Tony Robbins says that success is 80% mental, 20% strategic. It's, 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 it's very simple to understand how to become successful and difficult to execute, whether you're a recording artist, a producer, whatever. And like, honestly, like sometimes, bro, like I just cannot fucking believe it. Like I'm 30, about to be 31. I remember like I started doing music when I was fucking 17. And I had, obviously I was broke. I was a 17 year old and I've been broke for so long fucking long. Austin's about to run into me. I was broke for so fucking long. Hey, we got Leezy's life. Yes, Leezy's life. Hey. I'm talking to him about how success is 80% mental, 20% strategic. 100%. A little bit of luck. Gotta get lucky. Gotta get lucky. Just a little bit though, because a lot of people get lucky, but they're not prepared to capitalize on the luck. You gotta have the mindset, you gotta have the discipline, a little bit of luck, you can do anything. Hey, 100%. And by the way, that just came from my boy, Austin Medlin, who coached me in sales, life, mindset, and overall, how to be a boss. Women, you're yeah, thank you, yep. <laughs> so, man, yeah, so I'm just looking at these beautiful houses, and if anything, I just wanna let everyone know who's watching this, like, you actually can do it. You can go full-time with your music, make six figures, make seven figures, you can quit your job, and you can make that shit happen faster than you think. Like, stop making these excuses. Stop saying I'm being patient. Stop settling for less. That shit is fucking soft. Fuck that. Be the greatest version of your fucking self and, and, and just fucking go after that shit. This is my boy, Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? 20. 20 years old. What do you do for work? So I work in high ticket sales. So you're working high ticket sales. Who yeah. close $106,000 for a fitness company that you're working with? Yeah. And you're 20 fucking years old. Yeah. You going to college? Huh. Not yet? Nope. nope. Why'd you decide to leave college? Well, it's a good path to me, man. It's like, you know, I knew from the first week I went in school, I was like, yeah, this can't be all to life. So, you know, got to Google it, got to find, you know, some path that can make money and, you know, sales the best way. So that's what I started. And now you're not going back. Oh. Now you're looking right there at these beautiful houses, huh? Last question. Mindset. What do you think is the number one key to breaking out of your limiting beliefs and finally making that next step? Very little of us actually know where it comes from and why they're there. I think if you really dig deep, deep down inside and you figure out your own self, you figure out why they're there. <laughs> My butt, that's how to ride a jet ski. If you really want to network, you need to become unforgettable. In a room of a hundred people, if I walk into that room and I focus on being non-transactional, I promise you I'll be the only one there that's non-transactional. 
Understanding the characteristics of becoming a non-transactional character will allow you to lean into becoming that. In any situation that I've ever been in that has made me successful, the reason I become successful is because I'm always non-transactional. And what you don't understand is that's the same thing that you put into the investment into yourself, understanding that as I put something in, I get something in return without asking for something in return. Being a non-transactional character ultimately is that. I'm putting something into somebody and I don't expect anything in return and it always returns tenfold. This is fucking crazy. I gotta show you this one. This is an experience. This is a huge experience. We're dropping off the muscle Keaton Hoskin yes, sir. Uh, at the airport. Just had to show you guys this moment. Yeah, I'm gonna be living like this for sure. That's lit. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you, man? Good, good. I'm Michael, are you going? Lee, no, I'm just taking some videos. Have a safe flight. Thank you, appreciate it. Yep. This is how we live it. Sorry to uh, interrupt. I just wanted to uh, just say a quick toast to our fearless leader, Austin. Um, if I were to summarize this weekend in one phrase, I'd say ripple effect, which you guys, we've all heard Austin say that. What you've done with closed sales in this short amount of time, on a financial scale is out of this world, but on a way deeper level, to be able to impact every single one of us individually, and then what we're all about to go do, with our clients is gonna be bananas. What you, what we got today from him, the amount of money you spent was like a penny because what he did for us also is just gonna explode our lives, probably millions of people around the world and they'll never know, right? And you just changed so much of our lives and you do so much to celebrate each and every one of us. I don't, I think we can all probably agree. We've, ne I've never had a coach do what you do, over deliver. Call me on the phone. Yo, how are you doing? How's this certain issue going? Just call it, ask it, and you've, you've done that for all of us. And it shows us like the power of what can be done when you really just leave with impact. So, a toast to hey, Austin. Cheers. 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 Thank, Thank you, bro. Here's a drink in the Kool-Aid, Austin. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so we don't have time for an entire walk through the house. I obviously uh, procrastinated, saved it to the last minute. Now we all have to go. But I do want to give a walkthrough of this beautiful first floor that we had. So we had these couches here. I'm going to take you guys back there. But this pool was just ridiculous. The pool was crazy. Um, we had a little water slide over there. I was a little flying sea otter this whole weekend down this thing. This was too much fun. And then we had the hot tub back there. Tons of conversations. Um, good vibes. I see a, <laughs> I see a red solo cup in the fucking pool. That's, that's how you know we had a good time. <laughs> and let's see what else we got. Yeah. Yeah, this was really, this was really cool. The uh, tennis court, basketball court. We actually had an epic, uh, basketball game, two on two. That was super fun. Of course we won. And that was great. And yeah, the, shit, the trip is trips coming to an end here. I could take you up to this next part though. I can take you up here. So as, as you're outside, you know, you've got these stairs and then when you take these stairs and kind of take you guys up here, what happens is, yep. Take these stairs, a little gate. And we've got this little back, this little back patio here. This was really fun. We had some really good conversations right there. And then what you do is slide this super heavy door. And this, this was the second floor. I guess I am doing a whole walkthrough, huh? Had the second floor here. All our meals were, were had back there. I guess I do have time for a walkthrough. We're doing it now. <laughs> this was like, you could call this the living room, right? This is the second floor. This is where we hung out a lot, right? We hung out a lot here, big couch. Dining room area, it's right there. Kitchen was here. 
So this is how we did that. Um, there's a bedroom back over there. I'm not gonna show you all that. And then what we do is we can take some stairs up here to the third floor. And this is a really, uh, this is a really, this house is freaking amazing. I guess we're doing the walkthrough, great. I thought we weren't gonna have time, but we're doing it. So getting up here to the... Oh, okay, we gotta go. I'm not leaving today, but we got to get going because I'm giving rides. <laughs> See you guys. Well, I'm holding back the tears. This is the end of the, uh, uh, is the end of the closed sales retreat. And this is my boy, Austin Medlin. We, uh, how many times do you think you introduced me in this one video? <laughs> Let's do it again. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't forget, dude. <laughs> like I got a big ass mustache. Like, <laughs> you can't forget. I know. Mustache, okay. gap in the teeth, nice eyes. <laughs> <laughs> very high fade. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're rounding off the trip. This has been epic. One of the best trips I've ever had in my entire life. I want to get you in the last clip. Okay. Just wanted to get, get from you. What was biggest takeaways, things you were most excited about from the trip? You know, kind of just share your reflections on how the weekend was. Two things. One, energy. I've always made excuses when it comes to certain things like fitness. Like I pour so much into my clients and so much into my business and so much into my family. I kind of put myself with my fitness on the back burner. I know it doesn't look like it, but I could look way better. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, fitness is huge. If I'm gonna, how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you're gonna go 110 for your family, 110 for your wife, or 110 for your, your business, how can you not go 110 for you, right? And when like, you're on a plane and the oxygen mask drops down, they say you gotta put yours on first before you help other people, or you're gonna run out of oxygen and if you don't recharge the batteries, you can't help other people. So that's number one. Number two, the rooms that you're in and the energy that you surround yourself with is mission critical, super important. Like me bringing down Lee and 12 of my other clients and putting them in a room with me and Keaton Hoskins in a $6 million mansion, private chef, jet skis, like unlimited food and drink, like putting them in that environment forces them to raise their frequency and raise the vibration of what they're going to put out into the world. They're looking at that event and looking at the people in that room and they're like, I want this for the rest of my life. And it forces their way into a higher frequency, which ultimately means more money, more happiness, better relationships, et cetera. The list goes on and on. It elevates every single area of their life by simply raising the frequency. And the easiest way to raise your frequency is to get around people with a higher frequency. And inevitably, you'll do the same. That was fire. That's facts. That's, that's on your mentor, that's, that's facts. Yeah. I'll um I'll add to it and say you gotta get around people who are ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Right? Like I mean you guys see the plaques. Like these are called two comma club awards awarded to people um from ClickFunnels who have made over a million dollars with a business. He's got two of them. So it's 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 important for you to get around people who are ahead of you. And just like he had Keaton Hoskins come in, the muscle, he's ahead of all of us. Yeah. So it's it's really important that you do that. And when you're building a business, when you're a recording artist, producer, whatever, it can be really easy to just be a subject of your own surroundings. You gotta try to get around other people who are ahead of you, even if it means paying to get in those rooms, that? like I did. Right, like you got to, that's, that's cheat code. You just pay people further down the track than you to give you the game collapse time and get you to where you wanna go, cheat code. Mm -hmm. That's how I am where I am, because I've spent over $150,000 on myself into retreats, masterminds, events, workshops, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, courses, whatever it may be, I've spent the money. I qualify the mentor. Are they living and having the life that I want? The answer is yes, take my money. I don't care if it's 1K, 10K, 50K. I don't give a shit what it is. I just spent 50 grand this weekend. This event cost me over $50,000. I don't give a shit because I know it collapses time and gets me and everyone else who's there where they wanna go faster. 100%. So. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank proud you for you, the bro. weekend. Yeah, thank you, proud man. Pretty, I'm proud of you too. Thank you. Like for you to be able to get the muscle here yeah. and like the way that all worked out. Just a couple dollars. Just a few. But the way that that all worked out, you know, was perfect. And actually, I want to show them something. This right here is really interesting. You guys saw in the earlier clips the orange McLaren. But look, this man had that orange McLaren on his wall. Yep. Since when? Five years. Okay. that Those pictures. Five years. Okay. Literally. And he's got it. You guys saw it in the clip. So. Yep. It, it, it takes that kind of belief in yourself and to have that kind of mentality in yourself to be able to get to the life 
that you want to get to. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just go fucking change your life. Like go so. do something to change your life. So appreciate you guys. Another episode of Lizzie's life. Catch you on the next one. Peace.